All right, moving on to our lowercase letter. Yesterday we did capital P. Today we're gonna do lowercase p. First we'll read our P story. It's called The Pig's Picnic. I'm doing a video, get your stuff. What do you need? Your water bottle. Oh, I see it. It's in your backpack. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Look at the pigs. They're going to be pigs. <laughs> Penny, Polly, and Peter Pig were planning a picnic. Now we're listening for the sound. So I hear it in Penny, Polly, Peter, Pig, planning, and picnic. What shall we pack in our picnic basket? Asked Penny. Hmm. Peter looked in the pantry. So the pantry is like the cupboard in the kitchen where you keep the snacks, right? Let's pack some peaches, said Peter. A peachy idea, said Polly. Are they ripe? Perhaps we should taste them first, said Polly. And they did. Perfect, said Penny. So peaches start with P, but this is going to be the problem. They're trying to go on a picnic, which means you're bringing food to maybe a park or the beach or somewhere outside. But what are they doing? They're eating it all. Uh-oh. Let's pack pickles, said Peter. Perhaps we should taste the pickles too, said Polly. And they did. Mm, mm, mm. Pickalicious, said Peter. Pickles starts with P. But the problem, they are eating the pickles. Peter made some peanut butter and potato chip sandwiches. Peanut butter, potatoes. Would you like to taste them? Peter asked Polly and Penny. Yes, please, said Penny and Polly, and they did. Uh-oh, they're eating their picnic things. Perhaps we should pack some pasta salad, said Polly, and pears and plums, said Penny, and pumpkin pie, said Peter. Of course, Penny, Polly, and Peter tasted everything first. So they have pasta salad, pears, plums, and pumpkin pie. So many P words. Before long, the pantry was empty. But so was the picnic basket. Penny, Polly, and Peter were puzzled. Puzzled means confused. That's peculiar, said Peter. Where'd everything go? They didn't realize they ate it all. I guess we'll have to cut up, put off our picnic, said Polly. We could order a pizza instead. Uh-oh, they're very big pigs. And they did. Pizza! Look how many pizzas for just three pigs. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen pizzas. It's a lot. All right, we're looking for P words here. We've got p -p puzzle, p -p popcorn, p -p plant, p -p pizza, p -p pigs, p -p pineapple, p -p popcorn, p -p picnic basket. All right, let's do our lowercase p. So, lowercase p has two strokes. It looks like we've got a ding and then a swoosh. Now, when I do my p, let's write our name first. Let's write our name first. So we go ding but then we trace the line that we just made and we do our swoosh, which goes around, right? So watch me again. Ding, trace my line I made and go around with my swoosh for my P. All right, so today our dings are gonna be from the dotted line down. They're gonna hang down a little past that black line down there. So from the dotted line, hanging down. We say this letter has a tail. That means it hangs down like that. All right, and then we've got swooshes. And for our swoosh, we're gonna go this way, this way. So start at the dotted line and go around this way. Sometimes we go the other way. And then we go down, trace, and this way. Practice your dings again. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, 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 
thing. And then our swoosh. We're gonna go around this way. It's the opposite way we would normally go for a swoosh. But when we do our P, that's the way it goes. Right? Okay, and then practice some on the back by yourself. And your P today is pear. Oh no, you did that yesterday. Pear, pencil, and pig. So don't do those ones again. You're gonna come up with three on your own. You can come up with stuff from the book. If you wanna rewind and read the story again, you can read the story again. See if you can come up with three more P words.